The number two U.S. military commander in Iraq, Lieutenant General Lloyd Austin III, said on August 19th that he expects Shiite militia leaders who fled Iran last spring to return to Iraq soon, stirring up instability in the war-torn country. However, Austin said that improved security conditions and changing attitudes of the Iraqi people will make it difficult for the militias to be influential. Austin told reporters at the Pentagon by video link from Iraq, As the security improved in the south, in places like Sadr City and in Basra, we saw that the leadership of the special group's criminal elements left the country, and we think that they went into Iran for additional training and to be resourced. The United States military has in the past accused Iran of fomenting violence in Iraq by arming, training, and funding Shiite groups there. Iran has denied giving support to the militias, accusing the U.S. presence of creating instability in Iraq. Lieutenant General Austin said the militants would be faced with an environment and people that would not be receptive to their activities. Even though we anticipate that some of these leaders will attempt to return soon, we know that they will be returning to a much less permissive environment. Pointing to a now, quote, much more peaceful environment, Lieutenant General Austin said, The types of activities that these leaders bring to the neighborhoods and the provinces, I don't think will be as welcomed as they were in the past. Violence in Iraq has fallen to a four-year low, due in part to the surge of U.S. troops, Iraq's crackdown on Shiite militias in Sadr City and Basra, and a ceasefire declared last year by Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr. A senior U.S. military official, speaking on the condition of anonymity, said that Iraqi assassination squads are being trained in four Iranian cities by the elite Quds Force and Lebanon's Hezbollah. The official said these hit squads are planning to return to Iraq in the next few months to assassinate specific Iraqi officials as well as U.S. and Iraqi troops.